this is Codex here. I'm going to show you how to download and install Myth2 in Linux. I have Ubuntu 12.4 LTS running on an Intel based machine, but any Linux distro uh, with an x86 architecture should work fine. So with that said, we're just going to open up a new browser window and go to New Mutators YouTube channel. And yeah, because that is where we can find the link to download our copy of Myth2. But before before I show you that, I'm just going to say um, that if you haven't already checked out uh, New Mutated videos, you should because he's provided some really great coverage of the uh, uh, Myth2 tournaments in the past and the you know current Myth2 tournaments going on. So yeah, he's constantly putting on new stuff. But yeah, putting on new videos to his channel. So. Um, yeah, it's just really cool on everything, and yeah, I'd recommend going and checking them out. And you know, you might even learn learn something about myth. And well, you know, I've probably improved tons from watching his videos. <laughs> yeah, now I'm talking too much, but yeah. Okay, now that we've said that, um, we're just gonna click on the link that he's provided us, where we can get our copy of Myth Two. It's free, by the way. And yeah, so the one we want is disc free because. Um, yeah, that's for one. That's for one with the uh, Myth Two disk on it. So we're just gonna copy the link here, and we're going to open up a new terminal window, and we're going to um, change the working di uh, directory to the one we want to download the file to. So in this case, it's gonna be downloads, but um, you might want to save it to like TMP, so it disappears later or something like that. But I'm just gonna do it like this, and. Now what you need to do is you need to um, type wget and just paste in the link we have just copied. And yeah, just run that. So yeah, so it, when it's finished downloading, um, what we need to do is we just need to go to the folder it's in. And yeah, what we, I'm just going to delete this because it's from a while back. Um, what we need to do is we before we can mount this, we need to first extract it, and as you might have noticed, it's actually a 7-zip file, so to do that in Ubuntu, um, you need to install the archive manager that allows you, to, it's a package that allows you to extract 7-zip files, so we're just going to type sudo apt get install, and this is called p7. Yep, oh, that was a bit slow. P7zip. There you go. And yeah, just type in my password. And yeah, I've already got that installed anyway. So um, with that installed, you could either you know extract it from a terminal, or you could just right click on it and open it with uh, Ubuntu, the archive manager that comes um, with Ubuntu. And yeah, just click extract. Select. Actually, yeah, extract it to the downloads. And that's good. Now, <laughs> while while we wait for that to extract, I'll just tell you where to get the patch. So, we want to download the patch from projectmagma.net, and if you just go to the um, homepage here, and go to downloads, and then go to Myth 1.8, and go down to Linux installer, and just download that. But I've already got it, I think, so I won't need to do that. Yeah, so I'll just minimize that. So now that that's done, um, we're one step towards uh, running the game. So, but yeah, see, this is important. I haven't explained this yet. Um, when we run the patch, we need it to think that we've actually got a like legitimate copy of Myth, like in the. Uh, CD drive, otherwise, um, yeah, it, it won't recognize that we've got Myth, so we need to make, um, wherever it mounts the game, we need to make a, um, a directory in here called Myth2, so to do that, we can just go open up a new terminal window, um, I'm just going to become root, so that we can do this, and it will also help out later. So now with that done, we just need to type in um, 
make directory and then media and then we'll call it lift 2 make sure it's capitals I think that's important not sure really okay, so now if we just change the directory to media media and then yeah you see we've got lift 2 there okay now that we've done that we can actually we're not going to close this we'll just keep it open now we need to actually this will probably make it easier if we go to downloads and we just change this, rename it to myth2.iso. Yep. So now that we've done that, we can just type in mount and make sure you're running this as root, otherwise it won't work. Mount. Sorry. You just want to find where you've actually got it. <laughs> So myth2.iso and then we want to mount it to media and myth2. So that's very, very important that you do that and make sure you use the same names that I have. Otherwise, um, the patch might not recognize that you have the myth2 disk in, but you won't have it and it just won't recognize that you've got it mounted. That's what I mean. So yeah, just run that. You'll get a warning saying, um, it has been mounted read only. Uh, that's that's normal because it it should be mounted read only. So we're just gonna close that, and um, yeah, you can see it's mounted on the desktop, and that's what we want. And now with that done, we just have one thing that we have to install, and that is the um, just it's the. It's the GTK2 library that we need, um, and that's just to run the installer. It has all the Windows stuff in it that we need to run it. <laughs> Otherwise, it won't work. So just install that. Yeah. So if it, if you didn't do the step and it comes up with an error, uh, just install that and it'll work fine. So I've already got that installed, so I'm just going to close it. Now what we can do is we can just um. Oh yes, okay. This is actually in a .tar.gz file, so we need to just extract it to the downloads directory, so I'm just going to do that. Oh, and by the way, um, no, sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, this just has some icons and stuff, but what we need is the installer, so uh, just make sure you go properties, permission, allow exec executing file as program, and we're just gonna double click it. Hopefully it works. Okay, there you go. We've got this window up. It says welcome to Murph 1.8 installer. Very exciting. Go continue install Murph to 1.8.0 from CD. And oh, see this. It's actually detected that we have the CD and what is very good. And, you know, you can install it where you want, but I'm going to install it to games. Because that's where I keep my games. Okay. Install. And, yep, yeah, it installs pretty fast, doesn't it? Ah, done. You yeah. know, a lot quicker than Windows, isn't it? <laughs> And I haven't even got solid state drives. <laughs> um, yeah, so, whoops. We're just going to go to where we've installed it. <laughs> Sorry for that comment. Um, go to games, Myth 2. And yeah, this is where the, we've installed it to. It's a nice, clean directory. And if you have properties, again, make sure this is, um, this is ticked. And we can just launch it. Boom! There you go, we have Myth 2 now. Okay. Oh, that was just a test run. <laughs> we still have to make an account. <laughs> okay, go to forums. Oh yeah, this is gateofstorms.net by the way. You need to go to gateofstorms.net to make an account. And log in. No, sorry, register. <laughs> and we'll just
just accept to these terms. Type in a new username. Also, we need to type in the unit trading of chow. Unit trading value of chow. Um, well, I could tell you how to find out, but I'm just going to tell you as 24. Um, yeah, so we're not going to submit that because I don't actually want to make that account. So, with that account made, what we can do is go back to wherever the hell we installed it. Um, games. Myth. Run it again. And go multiplayer. Now, we need to make sure the server is set to Gate of Storms Net. And with that done, I'm just going to change my team name. That's way too long. Okay, now we're just going to type in our login. password but you know I can't be bothered with that since I'm just gonna be a guest hey so um yep we've actually we're in the wrong lobby we're in mad regal so we need to change lobby um for some reason someone else is in this lobby but no one ever really enters this lobby much so everyone is actually in Elberstone. so to get to get this thing up you need to hold down and drag the mouse towards Elberstone. And, yep, now we're in the lobby, and we can just go, hello, everyone, yay, okay, oh, yeah. I'm just say just installed F2 on Linux, bye, bye, yeah, so, cool, I'm glad that works, because I wasn't actually expecting it to work like that. Um, pretty smooth. So, yeah, thanks for checking this out. I hope this helped. Hope you've got it installed and everything. Otherwise, just um, send me an email at jacobafb. I'll say that again more clearly. Jacobafb at gmail.com, and hopefully, I can help you out. Um, yeah, totally. So, now we've got that installed. I just, yeah, so just end the video. See you guys. Thanks.